Hello everyone, my name is Marcus Grebing and I'm Adelink's product manager for our intelligent middleware Seema Cloud. Seema Cloud. Seema Cloud is Adelink's device to cloud approach. It's our strategy and we are the first vendor with a real industrial based cloud solution out there. And to bring some some light into the cloudy IoT buzzwords and in industry. I want you. To, I want to show you today what we can do with all those data gathered from our devices, pushing them to a cloud servers. First of all, let us have a look at the Internet of Things, the market trend. So we can see actually connected devices are everywhere. In each segment, if it's building, energy, transportation, retail, gaming, vending, whatever everywhere are connected devices that talk to each other and what we can do if we have devices talking to each other we call that machine to machine interaction and this is the real benefit because using data generated by a device and making use of that pushing them to other devices or even triggering actions with that so to show you the real benefit of our SEMA cloud solution actually I, I choose a very simple example here imagine uh, you are a company vendor that has ticketing machines out in the field for parking lots to, to build customers for driving to your space. So imagine you have 1000 devices in the field and you have to update each of them four times a year just to keep it maintained and up to date for new bills and stuff like that. So now you will have multiple technicians going out to the field, repairing the machine, maintaining the machine, updating the machine. If we do a simple cost analysis, let us say one technician costs you 50 bucks. Then we multiply that 1000 devices times one, uh, four updates a year times 50 euro, you will spend up to 200k a year just for maintenance, just for maintenance. So if we go the other approach and we connect all those devices to our cloud solutions, you will have the ability to group them all together. This means the update, which takes you a lot of time and costs you a lot of money before, can be done in less than five minutes just uploading a file and flashing it to all devices. And well, this then depends on the salary of the technician, but you will spend less than 50 bucks. So now I'm pretty sure you would like to know how to make use of this and how the architecture works in total. So let us start on the left side. On the left side we have our intelligent middleware driven device, which is your custom design. It is your box PC, it's your system. It is the device where you can use Comic Express modules, Q7, Smart, Mini ITX, Epic form factors, whatever kind of form factors and architectures to build your client device. On this client device you of course have a running operating system like Linux, Windows or whatever. Inside operating system, you can install our M2M agent, which is a piece of software. This M2M agent is doing nothing more than gathering data from your sensors or from the field and pushing it to the cloud through a secured TCP IP connection. This TCP IP connection can be built up by Wi Fi, cable Ethernet, 3G, or even LTE. And the data coming from is on the one hand SEMA, which is giving you a lot of information like CPU temperature, bore temperature and so on and so on, or MQTT, or even your custom data can be pushed through the agent to the cloud. And this is the next step, the cloud, the servers. We have a server farm that is doing device management, event processing and data management. And this means device management is, we ensure that you always have a reliable connection between your client and the server. Event processing means that based on thresholds you can set for the values you push to the cloud, you can issue emails, SMS or even SEMA calls if those thresholds are crossed. And of course data management is the storage of your data as well as high load balancing to give you a good user experience even if high load is coming to the servers. And if you go to the right side, we have the end application. This is your end application. So this means, for instance, it can be a smartphone application, it can be a tablet application, or a dashboard you can browse through in a browser like Internet Explorer, Opera, Chrome, or whatever. So this is the way how SEMA Cloud works, and this all is SEMA Cloud. So to sum this up, SEMA Cloud is your device, gathering and pushing the data to the cloud. SEMA Cloud is also the server infrastructure that hosts and processes the data. And SEMA Cloud is the end application to show the data and to make use of it. And now let me give you an example about M2M communication. M2M means a machine does something 
and you have a threshold combined to that, and if this threshold is crossed, then something else will happen. For instance, let us assume SEMA reports frequently the CPU temperature. And if this CPU temperature is above 50 degrees, which will be the threshold, then the system is told to throttle down. So what will happen? In the end application, you have the CPU temperature and you set a threshold. So now the board continuously pulls data with SEMA, pushes it through the M2M agent to the cloud servers and to your end application. Now the threshold is crossed. So let us configure on one hand to send an SMS. So threshold is crossed and the device will send an email to your application or the next thing would be threshold is crossed and the CPU should be throttled down. So this is a configuration from here, you store from here through the cloud infrastructure in your device. And this means SEMA reports the CPU temperature and as soon as the threshold is crossed, the CPU will be throttled down. And this is the whole benefit of making use of this structured data. And it's structured because you push data to the cloud, which will, you can monitor control and which you can also configure so you can make use of this data and this is then data being unstructured everything pushed to a cloud transformed to structured data where you can really make use of it and this is the real benefit for you and of course your customers so this was the presentation of SEMA Cloud. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I could teach you a little bit how Adilink is approaching this industry and what can be done with your device with your data gathered inside a cloud application. So thank you again and if you have more questions please contact our sales representatives or go to www.adlinktech.com. Thank you and goodbye.